Hello, this is Will from Jenga FX. In this video, I'm going to give you 35 quick tips to help speed up your workflow in EmberGen. Starting with, Control and P allows you to search through the glossary of terms in the node graph to find the exact parameter you're looking for. You can click this plus button in the color gradient node to save that gradient for later. T on the keyboard focuses the camera to the selected node and G resets the camera position. Pressing Z will step the simulation forward by one frame. You can always type past the parameter bounds as well as manually adjusting them. Click and pull from any pin to reveal nodes compatible with that input or output. Mouse compatibility mode can be enabled for people using tablets or virtual machines to fix mount sensitivity problems. The License Manager is located here. In a project with keyframes, you can hover over those keyframes to reveal additional shortcuts below. Shift and click moves keyframes horizontally. Control and click selects multiple. Control Shift and click allows you to move keyframes vertically. Using Control and the mouse wheel will zoom horizontally. Middle click allows you to pan. And using the mouse wheel with Control and Shift will zoom vertically. You can also add and edit key binds in the shortcuts tab of your preferences window. Emission gradient can be used to increase or decrease the distance from the emitting mesh. Plugging in forces to the emitter node restricts the output of that force to the shapes connected to the emitter shape input. Force noise bias will push the noise in a particular direction. You can adjust the application of your forces in the Force Noise Masking section. Force mask shapes can also be used to mask the location of a force. In the Simulation node, you can enable Advanced Parameters in the Combustion tab. Dissipation will make the elements disappear quicker, while Diffusion will blur their values out. If your flame's alpha doesn't look good or isn't showing up, you probably have your alpha set to pre-multiplied. Change that to straight alpha to get a better looking alpha channel, but only use this with RGBA values. When using Embergen, you want to import and export assets locally, not to a network drive. When working with animated meshes, be sure to set your override FPS setting to 60. You will also want to keep your time step setting to 60. You can adjust your viewport FPS speed to visualize simulations in other frame rates. Use the transform pin when exporting out as a VDB to place your VDB in the location of your animated mesh in your original scene. You can remap or customize the values of your VDB by enabling the remap values in the VDB export node. Camera backplates are located here. And when trying to sync your backplate up to an animated mesh, make sure that your frame rate is set to 60, assuming that your override FPS setting is also set to 60. You can use the ADSR node setup to use MIDI or keyframes to trigger the automated envelope. And there you have it. Hopefully these tips help improve or speed up your workflow in Embergen. Be on the lookout for more content here, on our socials, and in the Django Effects public discord.